This is Movie Town. Leslie Mitchell reporting. 48 years old, the daughter of the late Pandit Nehru, she's only the second woman ever to lead a Commonwealth country. From her father, she inherits the qualities of dedication and purpose, and she'll certainly need all she can muster to tackle the tremendous problems facing her. The immediate problem of India itself, the population explosion, the threat of a major famine, the economic difficulties, and the hordes of China massed on India's borders. Mrs. Indira Gandhi shouldn't be confused with Mahatma Gandhi, she's no relation. But her links with Indian politics are intimate and lifelong. Like Mr. Nehru, she's well known in Britain. Her two sons are over here as students. As leader of 470 million people, she now holds one of the most responsible jobs in the world. Only a few days after the death of Mr. Shastri, came the news that another Commonwealth country had lost its leader. Sir Bubaka Tafawa Balewa, Prime Minister of Nigeria, was rumoured to have been murdered in the military uprising. And while we waited confirmation of this tragic news, we learnt officially that the elder statesman of the Commonwealth had decided to retire. Sir Robert Menzies, Prime Minister of Australia since 1949. A record term of office for any Prime Minister. In 1935, he was appointed Australia's Attorney General. This new administration will spare neither time nor energy in pushing on with this great work. Four years later, in 1939, he began his first term as Prime Minister, Prime Minister of a country at war. Defeated in the elections of 41, he was returned with a landslide majority in 49. I just want to say this to you. You have given us not only an enormous majority, but an enormous task. During the war in Korea, Menzies assures Truman of Australia's support. During his premiership, he cooperated with four American presidents. It was largely due to Menzies' instigation that the Queen first visited Australia in 1954, the first royal tour there by a reigning monarch. Two years later, he was discussing Suez with Sir Anthony Eden before leading a five-nation committee to place proposals before President Nasser, a mission conducted with dignity and purpose. In 1962, he was talking with another British Prime Minister, adopting a firm stand with Harold Macmillan over Britain's possible entry into the common market. In the following year, the Queen conferred upon him the knighthood of the Order of the Thistle. Perhaps his character is most vividly summed up by the motto of the Order, no one provokes me with impunity. Sir Robert is succeeded by 007, that's the nickname of Harold Holt, who shares James Bond's passion for spearfishing. Like Robert Menzies, he achieved cabinet rank early in his political career when he was only 32. Now, at 57, he succeeds to the premiership. If these pictures are anything to go by, he'll be able to grapple with any problem. It's one of the most thrilling